So for those of you unaware, Answers in Genesis, the Young Earth Creationist organization, generally doesn't like the Catholic Church all that well. Unless, of course, a specific Catholic is saying something that they agree with. As an amusing example of this, just look at the difference in treatment of Dr. Michael Behe, who is famous for pioneering the irreducible complexity argument, and Dr. Kenneth Miller, who is famous for pointing out the problems with Behe's mousetrap analogy in his argument. When writing about Dr. Miller, the second thing we learn about him in the article is that he is a Catholic evolutionist. And if you're familiar with AIG, you'll recognize that this is very disparaging language for them. That's like a combination of the two worst things you could be, besides being an atheist. But then when writing about Dr. Behe, who I should point out also accepts the theory of evolution, and so would just as aptly be described as a Catholic evolutionist as Dr. Miller, you don't even find out that he's Catholic until most of the way through the article. And then it's presented as though it's a good thing, because the pioneer of this argument that they use believes in the God of the Bible. Just thought that was amusing and wanted to share it with you.